So this is me trying to figure out how to do the flush sonic. Well, let's just say that there's a reason why this video is called the devil sonic. Hey yo interneters, welcome back to another pin spinning video and so for today we're going to be learning how to do the devil sonic. So the intention for this video was actually to do the flush sonic but because I was running out of time and that pin trick was a little bit hard for me because of, you know, my fingers being weak and all. And uh, yeah, here we are. And so before you attempt to learn how to do the Devil Sonic, you'll need to know how to do the Twisted Sonic palm down, and you'll need to know how to do the Shadow pin trick because the Devil Sonic is a linkage between these two pin tricks. And so for me, I was like, I know how to do the Shadow. I know how to do the Twisted Sonic. I don't have much time to make a video. And so yeah, I got this, I got this. And so I spent the first 7 minutes or so trying to learn how to do the Devil Sonic without fully watching the tutorial or completely understanding what the Devil Sonic really is. And so what I'm doing here, I would say that I'm doing it completely wrong. And you might ask what am I doing that's wrong because it looks like I'm linking the Twisted Sonic and the Shadow together. And so initially when I was learning the Devil Sonic, I was trying to do the Twisted Sonic. And then after I finished the Twisted Sonic, I would try to do the shadow pin trick, right? And it was really difficult because I got stuck on this part. When I was doing the Twisted Sonic, I catch it. And I, w I usually catch the pin like this. And I wouldn't know how to actually position my hand or the pin so that I can actually do the shadow afterwards. And I wouldn't even know when to actually flick my wrist to do the shadow after the Twisted Sonic. And so me being stuck there, I would say it would turns out to be a good thing because if I wasn't stuck, I would just kept going and that would have been a bad thing because I would have been learning the Devil Sonic wrong, wrongly. I would be learning it incorrectly. And so, yeah, that was that would have been good. So how you're actually supposed to do the Devil Sonic is. And so when you're doing the Twisted Sonic, right when the pin gets about right here, this is when you actually want to begin doing the shadow. So basically the shadow pin trick will interrupt the Twisted Sonic before you actually completes it like right here. This is when it comes to a complete finish with the Twisted Sonic. But when the pin gets about right here, this is when you interrupt the Twisted Sonic and begin doing the shadow. So with that understanding, I'm able to actually learn how to do the Devil Sonic correctly this time. And so I would say now I'm actually doing it right this time and I'm not wasting time practicing it incorrectly. And so a couple minutes in and practicing the Devil Sonic, I managed to actually catch it for the very first time. And so because of that first catch, it kind of helped me out a lot because number one, I kind of understood the timing with the Devil Sonic and the flick of the wrist on what you need to do to actually get it to do the Twisted Sonic into the shadow. And what I mean by that is usually when you're doing the shadow, right, you actually do this flick motion with your wrist to get the momentum going so the pin could spin on top of your finger. But in this case, you don't really need to do the flick as much because you already have the Twisted Sonic to give the pin the momentum, right? And so with this momentum that the pin is carrying, right when it gets about right here, I would do like a slight jerk with my hand or my wrist and then from there the pin will continue to spin and right when the pin gets about right here, my middle finger will slightly slide down a little bit under the pin so it could continue to spin around and on top of this section, right? And then from there, I'll slowly open up like how you would do a regular shadow and it would just slide right on in. And so basically now at this point, I did a little bit more practice and with that understanding that I gained from that first catch, this is what ended up happening. Oh, that was three times in a row. Am I done? So yeah, I managed to catch it three times in a row. So that's pretty impressive. And so if you've been following me, you know that after doing something or when I'm trying to learn something and I managed to do it three times in a row, that means I'm, I would claim that I'm able to learn it. But for this time though, I wouldn't say I was because I think that was just pure luck. And 
I wasn't able to do it consistently at all. So I continued to practice a little bit more so I could build up more muscle memory for the Devil Sonic. And so after a while, I managed to do it more often than not. So I would be more consistent than before. So I would say at this point, it would be about 50% where I'm able to do it and then I'm not able to do it and I'm able to do it and I'm not able to do it. So on and so forth. And I continue this until I start to get more comfortable with actually doing the Devil Sonic. And so after about 22 minutes and dropping the pin 241 times, I think, yeah, 241 times, I'm able to actually do the Devil Sonic now. And so that's pretty much all I have for today and I know that was an easy pin trick to learn and that I'm trying right now I'm trying to actually learn harder pin tricks and pin moves just so that it could be more interesting but as of right now currently what I'm where I'm at I'm, I'm struggling with finding time and so hopefully next week I'm able to plan out my days a little bit better so that I could incorporate more time into learning pin spinning stuff and so yeah if you enjoyed the video please make sure you show it by hitting that like and subscribe button and like always thanks for watching and until next time